Matt Barnes, you got a real disrespectful tongue, Becky, with the good hair. You a finger wave, nigga. You shut your bitch ass up. You ain't like us. You can cold switch, nigga. You can go jump in the meeting and start talking like fucking Urkel. And they'll forgive you for your tattoos, boy. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. You just confused, nigga, because you wasn't black enough. And you wasn't light enough, nigga. Which granddaddy didn't like your bitch ass? Fuck you mean? I know you. Look, look, big baby JTV. We out here, we out here, man. Before I get started, man, like the video, like the video. It's kind of funny to me. I'm gonna keep it a bean. It's kind of funny how I'm averaging, you know, 30 to 50 views per video. Again, thank you, thank you, everybody, everybody watching the videos. But. I barely get 10 likes. I'm going to need y'all ghost watchers to stop, man. I know you like it. <laughs> I know you do because you always come back. You're always back here, but you're not slapping the like button, man. Actually, man, if you don't fuck with me, that's cool. Slap the dislike helps me regardless. Smack, put a comment in there. Man, if y'all rock with me, I need to see y'all spam up that like button man 10 likes let's get into it though kwame brown kwame brown <laughs> that's my best Stephen a smith impersonation but yeah kwame brown man he's been talking a lot of ish i put a video at the front of the front end of this uh this video and man kwame is going off on matt bonds he's going off on steven jackson jamel hill Stephen a smith He's going off. And I know why. <laughs> I know why he's going off. He's going off because he's angling for a check. Okay, he is angling for a paycheck. This dude is trying to get inside the media game. Okay, when this pandemic started, a lot of people had to get creative about getting money. A lot of people had to get desperate because desperate times call for desperate measures, okay? If your girl has an OnlyFans, it's probably because it got open during this pandemic. Because Shorty did not know what OnlyFans is before that Beyonce song. And she did not know what OnlyFans was before she started watching her bank account get depleted. Bruh, look at this. Kwame Brown is angling for a show or a podcast, okay? And somebody's going to write him a check because he's speedy king, pure heat and fire. You know what I'm saying? Are, are the things he's saying true? I, I'm entitled to believe him. Why? Because Kwame Brown is that dude that got bullied from being a young age. And then he decided to go off one day. Not the white boy version of going off, shooting up the school. But he decided to go off on all his critics, all his detractors. Now, look. The saying really rude, offensive, cussing things actually mean you're saying the truth or being authentic. No, no, because you can lie doing that exact same thing. But I'm inclined to believe Kwame Brown. You know what I'm saying? In the sports world, man, there's a lot of secrets, man. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of competition. Okay. And I think that Kwame Brown saw the success of all the smoke. Dude saw the success of. All these former players getting their own media type uh, job and decided, hey, let me put my head in the ring. And he used the 50 cent strategy of insulting his competition. Look, man, my prediction is in less than a month, Kwame Brown is going to be signed to a media deal or he's going to start his podcast and it's going to do numbers. Big Baby JTV, am I right or am I wrong? Let me know in the comments below. 10 likes, y'all. Come on, man. And I'm out.